Hello my dear students today we are, we will talk about quantification and visualization of isolated plant genomic dna in my earlier video i have already talked about how to isolate the genomic dna from plant cells which are the chemicals being used there and what are their roles in the isolation of genomic dna from plant cells today we will talk about quantification dna quantification is an important step in many procedures where it is necessary to know the amount of uh, DNA that is present when carrying out restriction digestion or performing other exercises uh, such as PCR. For quantitating the amount of DNA or RNA readings are taken at wavelengths of 260 nanometer and 280 nanometer. The reading at 260 nanometer allows calculation of the concentration of nucleic acid in the sample and OD1 corresponds to 50 microgram per ml solution of double stranded DNA, 33 microgram per ml solution of single stranded DNA, 20 to 30 microgram per ml solution of oligonucleotide and 40 microgram per ml solution of RNA. Contamination of nucleic acid solutions makes spectrophotometric quantitation inaccurate. For checking the purity, we must calculate the OD260 by 280 ratio. Pure DNA has an OD of 260 by 280 ratio around 1.8 while pure RNA has OD 260 by 280 ratio of 2.0. Low ratios could be caused by protein or phenol contamination. Value less than 1.8 signifies the presence of proteins as impurities. Uh, DNA can also be quantified by measuring the UV induced emission of fluorescence from intercalated ethidium bromide. This method is useful if there is not enough DNA to quantify with a spectrophotometer or if the DNA solution is contaminated. Now equipment and chemicals required for quantification are UV spectrophotometer or nanotrop, wire squid, pipette and autoclavable tips, tissue paper, chemical flask, beeper, beaker, distilled water or 1x TE buffer. Now protocol is very much simple. Uh, we can use 1x TE buffer as in solvent to suspend the DNA. Here uh, we have made it, make a table for different dilution factor. Like we want to dilute 50 times uh, our um, current sample. We can take uh, 60 microliter amount of DNA and add uh, this amount of TE buffer to make up the final volume of 3 ml if we, we are using UV spectrophotometer. Uh, where the minimum sample to be filled in the Q8 is 3 ml. So according to that, uh, this dilution, uh, for this dilution factor, we can uh, use this amount of uh, double stranded DNA and this uh, this particular amount of 1x TE buffer. And then we can take OD260, OD280 and then ratio can be find out to check the purity. And further to check the uh, concentration present in uh, present concentration of DNA present in our sample, this formula can be applied like 50 into OD into dilution factor upon 1000 if we want to calculate the DNA in microgram per microliter. Here 50 corresponds again to the one OD which for double stranded DNA uh, it represents 50 microgram of DNA present into one ml DNA sample. If we uh, Take a hypothetical example where we have done 50 times dilution and we got the sample reading 0.65 and uh, we want to determine the concentration of DNA. So we can do this formula 50 into 0.65 into 50, 50 where is the dilution factor. In, in this case, we can get 1.63 milligram per ml uh, DNA concentration or 1.60 microgram per microliter. It is quite high, uh, which is not uh, normally not possible. So it, this is just an hypothetical uh, calculation to show how to calculate uh, the double stranded DNA uh, present in our sample. In case of uh, using a nanodrop spectrophotometer, uh, there is a requirement of very small quantity of sample and uh, buffers. So we can use the nanodrop to omit uh, the if we have very less amount of uh, extracted uh, DNA sample. In, in that case, the, the calculation for dilution and uh, TE buffer can vary and can be done according to our requirement. Visualization of isolated DNA. This is also one of the important uh, factor. Uh, after isolation of DNA, we must visualize whether we have got a good quality of uh, DNA by the use of gel electrophoresis unit and uh, DNA fragments are negatively charged so they move towards the positive electrode. Gel electrophoresis unit is the standard lab procedure for separating DNA by size for visualization and purification. Here DNA molecules are separated on the basis of charge by applying an electric field to the electrophoretic apparatus. 
Shorter molecules migrate more easily and move faster than longer molecules through the pores of gel and this process is called sieving. The gel might be used to look at the DNA in order to quantify it or to isolate a particular band and DNA can be visualized in gel by addition of ethidium bromide with the help of a gel documentation unit. So equipment accessories are um, the main equipment is horizontal gel electrophoresis unit and UV transit illuminator or gel recognition systems. Other instruments are very common and being present in the molecular biology laboratory. Chemicals are mainly uh, TA or TB buffer, agrose, autoclave, double distilled water, ethidium bromide, bromophenol blue, xylene cyano, DNA samples and DNA ladder. Now we will talk about uh, one by one about these chemicals and their role in visualization of DNA present in our sample. Here agrose is a polysaccharide obtained from the red alga porphyra umbilicalis and agrose makes an inert matrix. Most agrose gels are made between 0.7 to 2% of agrose. 0.7% gel will uh, show good separation of large DNA fragments like 5 to 10 GB and 2% gel will show good resolution for smaller fragments with size range of 0.2 to 1 GB. Low percent gels are very weak and high percent gels are usually brittle and do not set evenly. So uh, the volume of agrose required for a mini gel preparation is around 30 to 50 ml and for a larger gel it is around 250 ml. So depending on the number of samples which we want to run we can prepare agrose accordingly. Now electrophoresis buffer Tris EDTA is a running buffer uh, along with the Tris Borate EDTA buffer can be used. Uh, there are certain differences in TA and TB buffer depending on which type of work we are doing. We can select either of uh, the buffer either TA or TB. Like TB buffer has better buffering capacity than TA for extended long runs or repeated runs in the same buffer while TA buffer has better conductivity than TB. So D DNA fragments will migrate faster in TA buffer than TB. The TB buffer supports better agrose cross linkage, better resolution of large DNA fragments in TB buffer and while better resolution of smaller fragments in TA buffer can be obtained and the borate in TB buffer inhibits many common enzymes used in molecular biology if DNA is being used for any downstream applications involving an enzyme like PCR or clonal ligation, TA buffer is the better choice and finally TB buffer goes more than TA buffer so it depends on which type of work we are carrying out we can choose either TA or TB buffer as our running buffer. Now ethidium bromide binds to DNA and allows uh, us to visualize the DNA under ultraviolet light. Stock concentration of 5 mg per ml for uh, can be prepared and uh, it should be stored in cool dark place away from the strong oxidizing agents and always keep the container tightly closed when not in used. Now loading dye serves two purpose. Loading dye, uh, it provides a visible, visible dye that help us gel loading and allows you to gauze how far the DNA has migrated. It contains a high percentage of glycerol that increase the density of our DNA sample causing it to settle at the bottom of the gel wall gel well instead of diffusing in the buffer. So loading dye mainly comprises of uh, the dye and the glycerol as in component. Bromophenol blue migrates almost equal to the migration of 300 base pair whereas xylene cyanol migrates around 3 kV. Similarly orangey migrates around 50 base pair and glycerol rate 1.5 kilo base pair. Depending on your desired DNA length you can choose either of these dyes. So uh, there is an example of 6x DNA loading dye um, of 10 ml reagent needed because we want a broad spectrum we will use both bromophenol blue and xylene cyanol FF 25-25 mg each 3.3 ml glycerol and 6.7 ml double distilled water to make up the final volume 10 ml. Uh, the loading dye should always be stored in the minus 20 degree centigrade and uh, always prepare fresh before starting the work. Here is the main unit in which we are going to run our DNA sample uh, gel electrophoresis unit. It contains a gel tank, gel casting tray and uh, well combs, voltage source and electrode one positive and one negative. Black represents two negative and red represents two positive electrode. Before running the gel when agrose dissolves 
uh, we must be careful in stirring so eruptive boiling can occur and etbr is one of the uh, highly mutagenic compound which and toxic compound through which we are dealing uh, throughout the whole process so we should uh, wear lab coat and eye protection like uh, specs and gloves should be gloves should be used while working with these chemicals and running the gel so before starting uh, the procedure we must take care of these all points so here is the basic procedure for running of uh, any uh, dna sample uh, here we are making 0.8 percent agarose solution it depends entirely on your work you can prepare from 0.7 to 2 percent of agarose for this measure 8.8 gram of egg rose mix egg rose powder with 100 ml 1x TAE in a microwavable flask microwave for 1 to 3 minutes until the egg rose is completely dissolved let egg rose solution cool down to about 50 degrees centigrade add ethidium bromide to final concentration of approximately 0 0.2 to 0 0.5 microgram per ml pour the egg rose in a gel tray with the well comb in place place newly poured gel at 4 degrees centigrade for 10 to 15 minutes or let set it room temperature for 20 to 30 minutes until it has completely solidified here we can see this is the gel casting tray first we can seal uh, uh, its end uh, there is a sealant and then we will place comp and then after that we will pour the egg rose containing EGBR and uh, after 30 minutes uh, here we can see after 30 minutes here we can see the gel has been settled with the wells present in this uh, gel uh, after that we will place this uh, gel into the gel box for this add loading dye 5 is to 1 to each of uh, for uh, after placing this uh, gel in the gel tank we'll, we will prepare a uh, uh, DNA sample we will add loading dye 5 is to 1 uh, in 5 is to 1 ratio in our DNA samples and uh, then fill uh, the gel box with 1x TAE or TB buffer until the gel gets covered comb will be removed carefully load a molecular weight ladder into the first lane of the gel and carefully load all of our samples into the additional wells of the gel and uh, after placing the gel tray and uh, filling it with the uh, running buffer uh, this is the pouring of running buffer we can and loading of the sample and letter dna we can run the gel at 80 to 150 volt until the dye line is approximately 75 to 80 percent of the way down the gel turn off the power disconnect the electrodes from the power source and then carefully remove the gel from the gel box using any device like here we are using a uv light for to visualize in gel documentation unit we can see here is the um, gel which is placed on the platform and we can visualize and capture the image through this gel documentation system here uh, we must uh, uh, place the gel properly because dna are negatively charged and they will always move from black to red electrode from yeah, as they are negatively charged they will move from negative to positively charged electrodes so after visualization we can capture the image of uh, run um, dna in our sample here we can see we have used two lane as in ladder dna l1 is 100 base pair and l2 for the 1 kb dna ladder and from 1 to 9 we have put our sample and m is basically stands for the mother plant if uh, this gel is basically representing an amplified uh, um, dna sample uh, but uh, we can simply understand that uh, like in len 2 here different bands are corresponding to the different uh, pair pair dna segments present in our dna sample so some basic uh, things which we, we must uh, take care about uh, running the gel uh, that we should always uh, uh, take care of wearing lab coat and gloves and uh, uh, very much uh, um, very much careful about maintaining the all uh, using all the chemicals uh, while running the gel and uh, always uh, uh, run will run uh, as the dna is uh, negative 
uh, it will run from black to red so we must always proper power supply that's all about thank you